All right, so this is Air Conflict's Secret Wars. Because after all, I received two keys for the price of one. Or the price be me reviewing it. Which I guess means I need to review two. So technically I'm paying twice, in a way, if my review counts as money. Oh, well, anyways. Let's check this out. See if it's any different from uh, Pacific Campaign, or what I think that was what it's called. The other one. <laughs> um, thank you. Okay, well, different menu. Man, this looks- oh my goodness, this menu? I'm not- I'm not throwing shade here, but this menu makes me think of like a- a, a 19- a 1998, uh, PC game menu. Hmm. Alright, let's, uh, you know, last time we did campaign, it was a bit slow. Let's just, uh, you know, we'll do campaign again, sure. Why not? My name is daughter of the great departed fighter ace, Guillaume de Beck. My friends call me Didi. Actually, when all this began back in July 41, I had only one friend, Tommy Carter. He'd flown with my father in the Great War. Tommy raised me. He joked that God had forgotten to give me feathers. On my 14th birthday, he told me, I've never known anyone so uncomfortable on the ground, but so at peace in the air. I probably shouldn't have been flying at that age, but Tommy didn't seem to care. He wanted to teach me, and I wanted to learn. Tommy and I had survived well enough back then. We smuggled, bartered, and stole, taking any job that required a pilot. But the war changed everything. The world was on fire and the flames were closing in around us. The skies were no longer safe. But Tommy was right about me. There was no way I was staying on the ground. Hmm. Is that right, Rocky? Well, good work. Good work for giving you that background ass. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Destination Torbuck. Torbuck, where, Tobruk, where the hell are we? Tobruk? It's under siege and no one knows how long it can hold out. Independents are usually friend upon, but this situation, seasoned smugglers are the allies' best friends. Smuggling, supplies are more important than conscious with the enemies at the gate. Oh, cool, I got a stop of camel. Nice. Um, well, agility is kind of my thing, so yeah, sure. Oh, the controls, the, looks like the controls are more or less the same. Yes, it does appear that the controls are more or less the same, so... Wait, up button, landing gear, up and down. Okay, good to know. That, that's a bit different. Instead of switching between pilots, this time you have... ...landing gear and on that button. Alright. And not liking this game, sorry. We, we haven't played yet. Didi, you're back. How's it look? Oh my god, that looks like a little... It looks very much as though we should be minding our own business, Tommy. The group leader's offer is generous. This... And, Didi, this is war. This is... It affects us as much as anyone else. This is a PS2 game. Power. I'm a smuggler, Tommy. A profiteer, not look, a folk. Look at these hero. models. This isn't like your last war. This is altogether messier. I'm approaching Tobruk, and any fool who shoots me down also destroys twelve cases of single malt. That would be a tragedy. Didi, your father, he would say to fight. My father is dead, Thomas. Over and out. Okay, Didi, just bring your bus down into Brook. Try not to attract too much attention, okay? We'd hate to lose that Van Blanc Anglaise. Well, actually, this seems, uh, this is... Honestly, I have to say this is more interesting to me than Pacific Campaign, because... This is going on a personal story sort of thing with one character. That's more interesting, rather than having a squadron. So, yeah, I don't know. That's my opinion. Oh, hey, fuck you, dude. My father, your father would fight. My father is dead. Also, I'm going to fight. <laughs> One moment. Also, look, I'm actually able to gambling guns and things explode in a reasonable time frame. I just want to point out that things are exploding in a reasonable time frame. So, yeah, I'm going to shoot things. Hold on. I know I'm supposed to land, but hold on. I'm testing this game's differences from the other game. This game actually is a fair bit different. For instance, I can actually play this and have fun, perhaps. Unlike the other one. I don't know what's up with Switch, or I guess Aurelio. What, 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 what's up with Aurelio? Getting quite salty over this game all of a sudden. What's that about?
Not a big fan of military-based game, but I'll stay around for charm, and oh god, those malls in the mic. Honestly, just the fact this looks like a PS2 game makes it charming for me, actually. Like, I see this looking like a PS2 game, and I'm like, oh, this is nice. This is, this reminds me, uh, this is nostalgic for me, almost. I don't think that was the intention, but it sure is. It really is kind of nostalgic for me. Oh, I'm, I'm on the ground, but I'm fine. <laughs> it's fine, I accidentally landed. Don't worry about it. I mean, we can't safely deliver these supplies if people are shooting at me, so we must destroy them. It's, it's really quite logical when you think about it. A lore of the World of Cakes commercials. He got a commercial for World Takes. I assume, I assume you're japing me, but that would be strangely appropriate. There, they no longer have tanks. Take that, tanks. Is this, this jeep might or might be, might not be indestructible, hold on. Somebody is still bombing me, I'd like to know who it is. Who, who the fuck's doing that? Wait, I think I may have figured it out. Nope. Okay, what? What is bombing me? I am getting, like, shot by something. Who's, who's doing this? Is it, is it still this little... There we go, took it out. There. I win, shut up. MG can destroy his takes the seconds. No simulation, but you know what? It's fun. I hope those were enemies. Were those enemies, you think? I just assume those are enemies. I assume these guys are not enemies. Are these guys friendly? Let's hope so. Are there still- Oh, there's some soldiers on the ground. I better, better, better help with that. Oh, is this an enemy truck? Stop that. Oh, I already took it out. I mean, I'm just making assumptions as to who the enemy is. Look, guys. If I shoot one side, there's a 50% chance that I shot the right person. That's a pr that's pretty good odds. Ooh, that was a dodgy that that uh I wanted to run that guy over my wing, but it didn't work. Oh well, let's go. I'm gonna do the objective now, don't worry. Those are Sherman takes of the ones you destroy are panzer. Okay, good. I destroyed the right ones. <laughs> I think. I can't tell the difference. Me. Well, I'm sure the Sherman tanks can figure it out. They only have infantry now, the enemies, so they'll figure it out from there, I'm sure. Also, I'm very surprised how durable our biplane is. We were getting, like, exploded numerous times. We've taken, like, a fourth of our meter of damage after all that. <laughs> Alright, I'm assuming I need to land on this. Uh, let's see. Landing gear out. Sorry, Dee Dee. You can't land yet. You're gonna have to plug those Luftwaffe planes. Here, the group leader wants a word. As a gesture of goodwill, I've arranged a little surprise for those Jerrys. If you need help, Head toward the marked ambush point. McIntyre out. Oh no. You Just... heard the man. Act like a mouse and bag yourself a cat. The Scottish person has made a surprise. Oh, a checkpoint reach! New objective, sorry, look for learn an ambush. Did I do it? I may have done it already. No, okay, I didn't. Darn. I was hoping that that was the same thing I just did. That would have amused me. No, I gotta start playing, it's okay. Also, yeah, this is way better. You know, you may notice I don't have limited ammo. For one, I can just kind of fucking shoot. Yeah, fuck you. I'm not fucking playing. I don't play a chicken. I don't dodge. I don't move. Fuck you. You move. You move in pieces, buddy. So this is this is more like what I was hoping with the other game, actually. This is where you get into simulation territory. And it's actually fun. This right here. So actually, color me surprised. This is much better than the Pacific Campaign game. 
Yes, yes, I know I'm getting shot from behind. I don't care. Good night, Beerus. This is an arcade game, yeah. I guess that, well, that makes it better in my book. I mean, they did, I guess they did a decent simulation attempt. I wonder if this is the, I wonder which game came first. Like, which one they made first, because... This definitely feels a lot more breezy and fun. You handle yourself well. Of course, I expected no less of a De Beck. The group leader flew with your father, Didi. I need good pilots, Mr. Beck. I have squadrons trained in aerial combat, but sometimes the war effort requires more finesse. You will be well paid for your services, I this can assure you. This one has less you. graphics for more fun. Money, Didi. We could hire that Aussie Akemer I mentioned. Can't fly if your wings are broken. If I agree, will you let me land? Th I see what they did. They spent less on the graphics budget and more on the, hey, can we make it fun budget. <laughs> Resources dwindling. Tommy and I decided to recruit a maverick mechanic called the other one. A specific Korea. campaign. An this Australian one's by birth. Secret a Wars by inclination, a drunk by character. Secret conflict. No one else would take him, and he took pay in whiskey, which worked well for us at the time. I didn't expect a neatly pressed uniform and a brisk salute, but Clive still came as a shock. His overalls looked as though they'd been dragged down the runway and back. And he smelled as though he drank more fuel than he had put in the planes. But for all my misgivings, there was something about him that appealed. Like us, he was an outsider. A reject. Trapped in the middle of somebody else's war. Give him a weekend and a pile of scrap and Clive can make a bathtub fly rings around a Messerschmitt, Tommy promised. And, like a good girl, I trusted his instincts. For better or worse, we had our mechanic. Not gonna, not gonna voice act that last line. All right, Turbo. What is? Where is Tolbrook? Can somebody please? Can somebody please uh, Google Maps Tolbrook and tell me where the hell that is? Kind of curious. Where are we? Are, it looks like we're in Africa, right? Yeah. Okay, we are in Africa. So this is the African front during World War II. I'm, I'm guessing, which is an interesting front. You don't see a lot of games focus on it. Uh, so it's, I'm, that's more appealing to me actually, just the fact that it's a front that you, doesn't get a lot of focus. Um, okay. Smuggler, stay unseen, avoid patrols. Yes, I will totally avoid and not absolutely destroy everyone. I'm gonna say I'm going to be forced to stay stealthy, though. The second mission is a stealth mission, though? I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this is Air Conflict Secret War, so you can look that up. Ahmed has contraband for us, some motor parts. Clive can use a few and we can flog the rest. Ahmed's waiting at the usual rendezvous point, but the sky's thick with Luftwaffe. Fly low and stay out of sight, okay? Kill everyone, got it. I mean, look, there's a searchlight. You know how we don't have a searchlight? We destroy it. And then there's no searchlight. Right? Makes sense. Just, you know, it, I'm losing using the logic uh, of Star Fox 64. You destroy the searchlight before they spot you and nothing gets alerted. There you go. Star Fox 64 has trained me well. Let's do it. Come here, searchlight. Ah, uh, they've seen me. The jig's up then. Looks like it's a fight. Yeah, yeah, I get to fight things. I couldn't destroy. Oh, I, I, it was, there's a belly in the way. How dare it! All right, that'll kill everything. Hi. Next. I'm, okay, I'm happy. I don't mind a stealth mission that lets me continue if I fail the stealth part. That's an okay stealth mission. 
in my book. Ah, pull up, dude. Whoa, shit. Next. I have not taken any damage yet. I want to point this out. What fun is stealthing when you can destroy things, after all? Right, now that I've done that. Now I'll teach the searchlights a lesson, even though they've already seen me. They won't see nothing else ever when I'm done with them. Stealth, stealth missions can be good if done well. Ghost Doggo can stealth, yes. Here's the thing. If nobody's left alive, then you haven't been seen. <laughs> Something to consider. Leave now, witnesses. There are no witnesses. I don't want them to leave. They must. They can't get away. They'll alert other people that way. Ghost Dog is stealth, he says, but Fells is stealth completely. To be fair, I didn't even try to stealth this mission. There wasn't even an attempt to do so, so. Alright, two more searchlights, and then the area is clear. I do kind of wish I could fly faster. I wish there was a turbo. That would be completely out of place for this game, but, you know. Okay, this first game came out in July- 2011! The other one came out in 2012, so these- Oh, so were they originally on the Switch, Rocky? Wait, what's this? I don't know if they can die now. Not even sure what that was, it wasn't a church night. It was just a little division out in the desert. They had no idea it was coming. It was the wait, wait, 2011, 2012. What 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 PlayStation was the system out out at that time? PS late Wii game. What was this originally on? Somebody look this up now. I'm kind of curious. All right, all objectives destroyed. This doesn't really look like a PS3 game though. It kind of looks like a PS2 game. The thing is, though, graphics aren't everything, and I'm having a good time with this compared to Pacific Campaign, which was kind of... Well, it was a simulation game, so, you know, to each their own, but it wasn't for me. This one's definitely more for me. Even if it looks like a PS2 game. Fly through the yellow rings... Wait, what are we doing? Superman 64? What? Diddy, that is you? Quickly land, and do not be seen! I cannot trust anybody! There are enemies all around! Oh, don't you worry, fam, you they're all dead. You would sound paranoid, Ackerman. Except that you're absolutely correct. And now they're all dead, so you're actually wrong again. Sorry. It was PS3. I know, hold on. Right. Objective complete! Collect more parts of mark, mark point while undetected. See, I was undetected! Everybody died, so I was technically undetected. Wasn't that great? Let's see. God's parts. Uh, alright. Hi, Rondo. How are you doing today? Stop Nazi spy. Okay.
I am doing alright. Not too bad. Grim news, Mr. Beck. Oh, Reports of Nazi spies operating on the southeast of Tobruk. It would seem that they're part of our resupply difficulties. Don't it would certainly explain the reason Luftwaffe presence. Precisely. A direct assault could get bloody. But if you can find their hideout, you can take them out cleanly. Months ago, I flew over a small oasis in that area. Might be worth checking out. Locate hidden oasis. Is it really hidden if it's an oasis? It's just kind of a body of water. Oh my god, I found a body of water. Wow, that was a secret body of water. It's like, what? <laughs> Learn guards, just the what just what I wanted to hear. More things to shoot. Sign me up. Goodbye. All right. I don't know where I'm going, but they're dead now. So I guess I'll go up here. Is there a map or something? That's not a map. I guess I actually have to locate it, huh? Alright, well let's look for a body of water somewhere. That looks like a body of water. Oh yeah, Lucar, you went to a con. How are you doing? How did it go? I see something. Yes, this is it. You were right, Tommy. If anyone tries to escape, stop them, Debeck. We can't afford to lose them now. Kill them all. Where the fuck's shooting me? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait. It's really hard to Oh, I see what's shooting me. Okay. Alright, destroy the escaping vehicles. I'll do that and then I'll then I'll tab my revenge. Hold on. A baton? Do tell, why'd you get a baton? Uh, that's kind of cool though. Yeah, this is actually a fairly fun game, Lucard. Though it actually, I got two review keys uh, for getting, uh, I, I, for one game, so it was kind of interesting. Okay, well, there we go. Got one, and there's another. Uh, so I actually got two Don't from let the same developer. Escape. The other one was a flight simulator. It wasn't actually quite as fun, in my opinion. It was actually kind of boring. But this one is more arcadey and a lot more entertaining, so I'm having a good time with this one. Stop fucking... Who the fuck's doing that? Oh, it's you. I'll be back for you. Let me just clip through your graphic just to, to intimidate you. Ow. Did I stall it? I think I said Fucking hell, who's shooting me now? I must destroy the ball, hold on. That's the second. But damn it, I see planes. The others must have been distractions. Bring them down, Debeck. That's one. Wow, I already took out one. Okay. Keep at it. What is which? Whatever, I'll kill them all. There we go. 
And that must mean you're the spy! Come back here! Right, over hill. There we go. Job done, Didi. That saved our bacon for the time being. Indeed. Bacon saved, Mr. Beck. Ooh. We get our supplies. Bacon and the saved. Roma will be forced Do we have a bacon bank? Can we, can we deposit our bacon and re withdrawal of savings? Bacon savings? Bacon. Okay, I wasn't expecting to have fun with this, but I actually am. It's not like an... Um, I will say right off the bat, it's not like the world's most amazing game, but this is actually entertaining and has an arcadey flair that I was really begging for on the last game, the other Air Flix game. Uh, Smuggle Whiskey. Sounds great. The other game was focused on a simulation aspect as well as historical context. I think it's when, whenever games focus on being very Is historical, the whiskey worth the risk, DD? They're not fun. The booze is a bonus, Tommy. Personally. Ahmed will always be if but, you pull this off. When stay you have clear game, of the Luftwaffe until you have the goods. You may have to fight your way back. Stay clear? Oh, stay clear, you say. I love how the game is like, you really should avoid the enemies over and over again. It's like, ah, uh, no. But you know, when you, when you, when you I like, I like, uh, I like, I like historical games like World War II, World War I, etc. Mostly World War II. Um, but I don't like simulation games either. My, my big thing back in the day, I really loved the fucking, uh, I really loved, what was it? Uh, what was it? The Medal of Honor series. That was what it was called. Yes. The Medal of Honor series had a World War II context where you were just like this one-man army guy. Well, not even that. You were just like, I think you were a girl in one of them, actually. It was, just, it was really cool. You did like secret mission stuff. And it was like, had a historical context, but it wasn't trying to be historically accurate, per se. It was really fun. I really love the Battle of Honor series. Good stuff. Okay, the card. I'll take a look later. Okay, finale? finale? What? Okay, sure, bye. Yes, I will play Cat and Mouse, I don't care. Or whatever it's called. There. Oh, wow. he's one bullet away from death. Jeez. All it took was one. The only problem I'm having with this game right now, aside from the fact that graphics are exceptionally dated, but, uh... That doesn't bother me. Really. It's... The main thing that's bothering me, if there's anything that I'm having a problem with here, um... The, gra the the environment seems a little too big for its own good. Like, look how much empty flight time I'm having here. A little bit... Just a little, maybe just a, things are a little spread out. By the way, I asked this earlier, but nobody responded, so I may as well ask again. Does anybody have any idea why... Why, um... Twitch left earlier. The Twitch the person left earlier. Like, I was very confused. Okay. All these ballsy, like, yeah, you fly at me. I'm not gonna move. I I'm too... I'm, I'm very ballsy with this sort of thing. There we go. Okay. Now to go my objective. 
You said the type of game. I think it was just the game. Just the just the fact that it, I wonder if he had an issue with the whole World War II theme, or if it was like just like I don't want to watch another fight sim. To be fair though, this one's a lot better. So I'm glad I I'm glad I did. Uh, Oh, that's fine, Zeus. I don't mind a lurker. If you want, if you want to lurk, if you can't stand work, some people can't. To be fair. Didi, Didi, quickly, quickly! I will find me for sure. Relax. Hold on your bridges. I've killed everyone. It's all good. I like the landing through through the rings. It makes it a lot simpler than properly landing. What's odd is that I can drop my landing gear, so I'm not really sure why. You've got trouble, Didi. I can't just. A land. Nazi ground patrol is homing in on your signal. Oh no. I'm completely in your hands. I personally, if you, you if better you, deal with those Nazis. This is this is, <laughs> this is just trying to this is not trying to follow like historical context. This is just like here's a World War II setting, and also you're getting attacked by Nazis. Oh no! It's like it, it's just, this is this is this is this game's just having fun, so I'm having fun with it basically. That's one. This game just wants to ha just be fun. Uh, the other game was trying to focus on historical accuracy. This one's just like, let's have fun. And that's why this game's more enjoyable for me. I really literally am clipping through the enemies, by the way. I don't know if you guys notice. Oh, I have a limited amount of time to succeed. Um, okay. I have trouble hitting them for some reason. Ground targets are, for some reason, difficult to hit. My gratitude, DD. If you need anything, I, I need, I need, I need, a, I need an extra life. Oh, checkpoint. Actually, let's see. You've got trouble. Okay, you better even deal better. With this has checkpoints. DD. This has checkpoints. That makes it even better. So I don't have to play the whole mission's over because I fucking died because I can't drive. Wait, do I have Hellfire missiles? I have Hellfire missiles. I wasn't using them because I figured they were bombs, but they're not. They're hellfires. Hold on. At least I think that's the term for them. All right, let's try this then. Oh, that's way better. That's one. I should be using my missiles more. I have useful missiles, unlike the other game. Unlike the other game, I have missiles that actually shoot things and aim at a direction and blow them up. Isn't that amazing? I missed that one, but whatever. Oh, shit. It's fine, it's fine. Get off the ground. Oh. What? I think the ground stabbed me or something. That was weird. You've got trouble. You'd better deal with those Nazis, Dee Dee. Those Nazis! That's one. Those Nazis! Cyber At least we're not cyber zombie Nazis. Yes, it's true. Yeah, I should be using the missiles more, especially for ground targets. They're very good for ground targets. I don't think they home at all. But, you know. My gratitude, DD. If you need anything, you need only ask. Glad to help, Akumet. And the boys back in Tobruk will thank you, too. I think I destroyed the friendly. I think I destroyed friendly transport at the units lost. Truck types two, right at the end. <laughs> Those were friendly. I found out. Um, uh, agility, luck, agility, probably agility. Actually, yeah. I mean, thanks for telling me what these do, but I'll just put it agility because I know what that does. <laughs> if I had blown them up a millisecond later, I don't think it would have counted for the title screen. Probably. A drill and press R. Oh, time will slow down? Yeah, this is definitely arcadey. It's interesting to see that the Air Conflicts developers, they have, you know, these are two games in a series, technically. The and they couldn't be more different from each other. Oil, really. But all their fuel depots are heavily guarded. Akax, fighters, nothing you can't handle. Okay. And I've already negotiated with the group leader for a cash bonus for taking the lead on this one. Cash You'll be paid, bonus. But you're not my priority. I'm short of planes, and I have to keep the bombers in the air. Okay. 
voucher. I wasn't sure what they were, so I just figured I'd attack them. Oh, let's look at how fast this guy's going. Hey, dude. Oh, I, have, I actually have bombs this time. Well, hopefully... Oh, but you know what? This looks way easier to do bombs with. Make, looks more. It looks more easily, more easy to bomb things. Probably. Wanna play? Wanna play? I'm a bomber. I'm gonna fucking. Sh I'm gonna get you. I don't care. I don't care if I'm supposed to focus on ground targets. Get out of here, jerk. I think somebody's shooting me with a pistol. I think some guy on the ground was just... I thought it felt like handgun bolts coming my direction. What the hell was that about? Alright, uh, that's out of the way. The only thing is, I wish they would made it, like, lightly marked other targets. That would be nice. Let's see if I can time this right. I think I, think I, I, think I hit a little early. Alright. I also have infinite missiles, I think, too, so it's just not a recharge timer. Okay, I, I'm i scaring him. I'm scaring him, but I'm not quite hitting him. Hold on, you know what? I, I know how I know I'll hit him. That's how I'll hit him! <laughs> that way I can witness their screams. Literally. Good work, Epic. These assholes are flying away from me. Whatever, I'll destroy this. Do-do-do-do, let me just fly in real nice and low. Bye. Oh, I missed. The lower I fly, the more likely I'm not to miss with bombs, because I'm very bad at aiming with bombs, if you haven't noticed. Hey, 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 stop it. Try to focus on your friends. Stop trying to defend them, what are you doing? There's one of those. Ho ho! Okay. Well, I mean, I'll do evasive maneuvers, I guess. I don't know. So, yeah, how's everybody doing? Great work, DD. I'm doing good. I'm having a good time. It is, oh, of course, always easier to dive bomb a target. Try to do a fancy turnaround. Kind of succeeded. Yep, actually, I another well. Akadain. The bombers will be with you soon. Yay, bombers! It's okay, I'll just do the little loop de loop and turn, and off we go. What's this? I see a star. Hold on. I want a star. Give me a star. What are you? What is this? With new intelligence to Beck, seems that there's a Jerry convoy in the area. They're extracting key personnel from installations you're attacking. How dare they? It's brutal, but we cannot allow that convoy to survive. Cool. Where are they? You have me? Which, which one's the convoy? This one? Oh yeah, that's the one. Alright. You know. Actually, that would be really fun. Fly all the way over here. Slow down. Turn. Line up.
I think I fucked up the convoy already. How oh, nice. Can I change bombs for rockets? Yes, I can! Good point! Thanks for that. Oh, missed my chance on that one. Alright, hold on. Excellent observation. This is why I have you guys here. Alright, hold on. Whoosh. And. Whoa, shit! I'm stalling, hold on. When's the next time I stream? Today's Friday, right? So Sunday. Damn it. Did you die already? Good work, PD. Oh. That can't have been easy. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't easy at all. They were just they weren't just stuck there or anything. Alright, what's going on over here? Let's see. Well maybe my missile can figure it out for me. No, not quite. Oh, there are planes here. What do you know? Let's see those there for a second. Paying more. Too low. Aim too low. I'm still inaccurate, but hey, it's my fault now, not the game's. That's more like it. Are you still not done with this plane? Come on, dude. Do I have to do everything? Apparently. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! I'll be streaming! Yes, yeah, scream and joy. Okay, stop that. We won't get a cookie after this. Oh no, I think the- oh whoops. Uh, the ground ate that missile and confused my brain. That's fine. Whoosh. They'll hit eventually, I think. I figure. Damn it. Well, I wanna I wanna wait, hold on, I wanna I wanna get a, I wanna get this guy with a missile. Nope, not quite. Stay there. Oh, that was close. Alright, fine, I'll just shoot down. I have a much easier time using the machine guns. Okay, who take gave Tucker a plane? Tucker a plane? Dogs of war. <laughs> Look, that this gives a different meaning to dog fighting, if you say that. Well, what the fuck are those two? You know what? Fine. My ally can go fight that guy over there. I'm busy here. I'm just surprised Tucker can control it. It's a quadruped after all. Did I make a... Did I accidentally make a Tucker voice or something? Why, why are you saying this? That does sound kind of adorable. We'll put him in the aviary. He'll have like an old style and everything. Excuse me. Oh, they're actually hitting me quite a bit. Ally, what are you doing? Alright, fine, whatever, I'll do this. Oh, I'm on bombs again, whoops. <laughs> That's not what I meant to be on. Come on now. Oh, boom! Shit! Haha! <laughs> I knew I could do it. I knew I could do that. What's this? 
Get fucked. With new intelligence to back. Oh. Oh. Oh, the checkpoint didn't save that. Gotcha. Alright, fine, well. That's alright with me. It's not too hard to stop them from uh, escaping, because when you destroy one group of them, they just kind of all stop, so, uh... Sucks to be them. Ah, uh, that missile. I, I think some of my missiles are duds, unfortunately. Very unfortunate. You could make a joke about a missile and a color. Look, if we want to talk about red rockets. Whoosh! <laughs> Look at me! I love how the enemies don't actually have hitboxes. I mean, they do, but, like, they don't have physical hitboxes, so you can slide right through them. It's kind of great. How many can I kill in one shot? Three! Good to know. Yes, a dogfight. I said this. I said this already. <laughs> God, you're making. You guys are making me think of Snoopy. If you say put Puccino behind the cockpit of an old World War II plane, you make me think of Snoopy when you say that. Good work, Dee Dee. That can't have been easy. You'd expect all the crypts and ballistics. Make sure they're well oiled and ready to fire, I guess. That's more like it. A long distance shot. Makes me feel good. There we go! I'm finally accurate, sort of. I was about to mention stupid. Dude, I read PS cartoons growing up. Well, Caleb did, but I like him too. Good stuff. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Careful, 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 careful. It's fine. I was like, I think I could shoot another missile. I was wrong. I have to do another pass. I cut this one AA is like, I'll take care of the situation alone! No, you won't. The Beck. My bombers should be with you at any moment. They're all I have, so please try to keep them aloft. We can't afford to lose even one. You say the story thing? Understood. Sure! Hmm. I think Ray hit that hit. Oh my! I. Uh. Um. Did did that missile hit? I just had a critical hit. From that distance. Hold on a minute. Goodbye. <laughs> I just need to test the payloads, depends on your oh boy. <laughs> test them, huh? I think the game doesn't know what to do because I already took out the enemy forces that fast. Hi, how you doing bombers? How you doing? Are you doing good? Cool. Oh shit, there's more enemies. Um, oh, let's try this again since it worked so well the last time. Oh my god, I <laughs> that guy had to duck! That guy fucking ducked a void, that's pretty good. What the fuck are you doing? Stop that. It'll stall out if I can follow you. What the fuck is that guy flying like? Okay, hold on. Hey. Hey. Get out of here. Get out of here, varmint. Guy is smoking yet still going for the attack. I admire your tenacity, but not your intelligence. Good work, Debeck. That's another knee to the Nazi bollocks. Yay! Is the mission over? Nope, apparently not. Mission completed. That means I can destroy things. Oh, darn. 
could turn around time and shoot at the bomber. <laughs> I would have shoot a missile at the bomber right the mission ended. That would have confused the game a little bit, I think. Group Captain Gerald McIntyre had been a friend of my father. I appreciate that every single mission has a little cutscene. Maybe he's willing yeah, to Yeah, it's always still images, but it's all custom still images. Working for McIntyre had its advantages, but I'd found that men of high office often had low morals. I bristled at being so easily pulled into the British military machine. I was being used, but for as long as I benefited, I could live with it. And I needed money to stay in the sky. Every night, <laughs> Thank you, Jay. makeshift bars. <laughs> Clive would and yes, the Dobber effect happens when the camera zooms in and out. picture of Rommel closing his fist around to Brook. Clive was extremely keen for us to move on. Tommy, perhaps nostalgic for his glory days, wanted us to stay. I had no desire to leave lucrative work behind, but the atmosphere was changing every day, choking the life from the city. One way or another, I sensed our time here was running short. I mean, how much time we got left on the on the clock, actually? Yeah, tw eight minutes left, sure. Let's go, let's finish it off. Boss, yeah, boss, there's a you read me? I got myself some aggro, I need to bail out. I I can't talk now, but I'll leave the channel up and you can ride a beam, or, or you can leave me to myself. It's your call. Clive? Clive? Tommy, Clive's in trouble. See if you can find anything out, please. Will do. <laughs> I see. Thank you, Rocky. Look at Clive using your radio. Cool. How do I do that? Oh, oh, I think I get it. Uh, he's this way. I think. The direction bar is bigger when I'm going this direction, so... Surprised that the YCH Wimmer hasn't messaged me back yet. Oh, you're doing a YCH, Rocky? What was that about? <laughs> it sounds like they will, Poizaz. I mean, I think he's over here somewhere. I'm not really sh Oh, that, this probably looks, looks like something. Tommy, I've traced the signal back to a Nazi listening post. Shit, I've got Akers. Take him out, Dee Dee. <laughs> Shit, looks like I've got Akers. With the Sanusi, trying to make a little on the side. These Saharan smugglers can be bad news, Dee Dee, so watch yourself. Oh, I'm destroying that base. Hold on. Ha! <laughs> kind of shot at target I didn't even mean to shoot at. Probably don't get in the way of this gunfight, please. Miss those. Ah, oh, I see. Bye. Oh shit. I'm kind of amazed I missed. He like slightly turned. That was the only reason he saved himself. Okay. Uh, I, I phased that missile into him directly. Uh, that was uh, interesting timing on that part. Goodbye. Well then. 
That timing was something. Okay, I'm having fun with this game, I have to admit it. I'm having a good time. It may look like a PS2 game, but I'm having a good time. It's an amusing little... It's not super deep. It's probably not even super that good. Like... But it's, 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 it's a game that I feel like the developers made this... Originally, just to have a good time. Make a fun war game. Thing. You know. Bloody Clive. I think I see him. All clear for landing. Anyways. I don't know why you don't have your bits badge either, Poisaz. Did you donate it recently, or...? You've got your head up and locked, Grill. What's that mean? Sorry I'm a drongo. I tried to play what both sides, I did got caught up in the middle. Ah, oh, we got one extra passenger. This is my new mate, Dave. What the hell's a drongo? There's no time for introductions. Let's get the hell out of here. Half the words they're using don't make sense to my brain. These are, these are, this is slang I don't know. What did they say? I, I, Mongo! They were. I don't. I don't remember now. What did they say? I, I said it out loud. Did you not hear me? I forgot what they. I forgot. I've already forgotten at this point. Pretty sure I just can't collide with things. Drongo, is Australian for idiot. Thank you. It's a. It's a new word. I've never heard it before. Boy, how you want, boss? Shut up. Not a crash of the ground. Well, we left a brook under cover of darkness, stomachs knotted with fear and worry. The truck bumped along dirt roads while my thoughts churned. Ahmed was relocating us to Azerbaijan. Clive still had contacts there. I felt powerless, my destiny controlled by others. Resting my head on Tommy's shoulder, I closed my eyes and dreamt of happier times. As a girl, I would gratefully put aside my wrench and oil can at the end of each day and listen to the stillness, feeling the early evening sun on my skin, hearing the birds sing to each other. Nights were a time for warm bread, chilled wine, and stories. There's just a bird called a drongo too. I didn't know that. Of his time <laughs> Where it's I do every day. My father, a man who I only ever knew through legend and hearsay. But I do believe our timer is up. But I, I, I think I will stop here. But this does kind of have a more Medal of Honor sort of way of doing uh, World War II, and that makes it a lot more interesting in my book. Actually, wait, is this? Yeah. But yeah, so. I have to wonder about the multiplayer, though, real fast. LAN, um... Well... I'd actually... Nope, can I? Thank you. Why does it start you on LAN? Online play. Somewhat predictably, nobody's playing this. So, from what I can tell, the Air, air Conflicts games, Pacific Conflict and Streak of Wars, I hope I said that right, I think it's Pacific Conflict. Um, they seem to be... Just old, old uh, PS3 titles that were any PS3 titles that have been re-released for Switch. To that end, they seem pretty decent for what they are. I, I definitely would have more fun. I'm having more fun with this one. But I have to say, I'd rather play Rogue Squadron or something like that. I'd have more fun with that than, than this game. But for what it is, I, I don't think it's that bad. I wish it was a little cheaper. I think £15 is a little high. That's like 18 bucks, And that's the price for each of the Air Conflicts games. But overall, I would say it's still a competent game, and Ow! certainly you can certainly get some fun out of it. So Ow! that is the end, as the howl says. 